guys, thank you for tuning into my channel and this was a requested video. I did an Instagram live stream and people wanted me to compare some pin cases. So here we are. We have a UB pin case, the Webster's pages, the Kipling case, and the Recollections case. And I'm just going to compare, compare the prizes and I will show you my current pin collection. So I used to keep my pins. I had another UB case, but it's missing. My daughter like took it or something. I don't know. But it's shaped just like this, just a different print. And I used to keep all of my pins in there. And as I've accumulated more pins, I needed a bigger case. But right here is basically just some Sharpies that I keep in here. And this is what this case looks like. The Webster's Pages is very similar. I will show you. This Webster's Pages, um, Jared L sent this to me. It's very similar with the pockets up here and the mesh pocket down here. And let's just do a little comparison. Um, the UB is bigger and, you know, there it is right there. It's a little bigger, but the concept is still the same. And so I just keep Sharpies in here and, um, so they're all in one spot. And then this is the Webster's one. I used to keep, you know, the majority of the pins that I was using in here, which were great because I would just keep it open on my desk and I can just fold it to get it out of the way. And then we have the Kipling case, which is, um, you know, I used to keep my pens in here and then I kind of, you know, then I got the Recollections one and have that. So Kipling case is 50 bucks. This is 29, but you can use a coupon on this and get it for 15. So 15 versus 50. I got this at the outlet for 25, like 20 bucks or something like that. So, that's at an outlet store, but retail price is 50 bucks on this. The Webster's Pages, I cannot find the price anywhere on this. I just cannot find it anywhere, so I'm not sure of the price. If anyone knows, you can leave that down below. The UB case, when I bought it, it was like 12 bucks. So, they're all different prices. You know, they're all different prices, but you can see the size differences, and then you see why there's price differences. So, these two are comparable as far as you know, design and everything. This has an extra pocket on the front, this doesn't, and there is a zipper. So you are gonna get more storage in this UB case. I uh, I got this for back to school. I'm not sure if UB actually offers a, you know, all year round pencil or pen and pen case, but I do like that there is a zipper on here so you can add, you know, stickers or things you wanna, um, or anything you wanna add and you can add stuff in the front. And with the Webster's you do just get the four pockets on the inside. So you get more bang for your buck with this one and this one is the more affordable option than this one. But design wise, this may be more your style than this one. So let's compare a little bit these, um, the Recollections and the Kipling. Price difference, 50 versus 29 for full price. Um, so there is a $20 price difference if you pay full price. If you get this for 15, I could hate for, you know, I got this for like 20, there's a $5, but what is, let's just talk about full price because that's what really matters. So, you know, you open this up and like I have a review on this and I thought I would make this better by like, you know, just cutting like a small thread to make the pins fit easier, but I ended up like loosening it up. So I could put like two pins in there and it was just kind of like a disaster. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have my paper mate flares in here and I have the gel pens that were in that case in here. As far as this case goes, I have a love-hate relationship with this case, and I said that in my review video. I love it because it holds all the pen, but I hate it because as long as I've had this pen case, the elastic still does not want to budge. It still takes a lot of effort to put the pens in here, and I'm just like, why is it this difficult? So that's my hate when it comes to it, but I do like that it holds a ton of pens. Like, I can add a ton of pens to this um, and be good. And it does come with a little animal on it. I don't even know her name. Her name is Anna Lucia. And so every Kipling case comes with this little monkey. So let's talk about the recollections. The recollections, okay, the hundred, this is the hundred pin case. Can you fit a hundred pins? I don't know. I, I have not counted. I don't care to count, but it is called the hundred pin case. This one right here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have 10, 20, 30, 40. 50. So you have 60 versus 100. Now, there's a 40 pin difference. It, I mean, let's be real. <laughs> let's be serious. 
I mean, if you have over 100 pins, then okay. But I think they are, they're both very similar in the amount of pins that they can hold. So what I love about the Recollections pin case over the Kipling is that you can access the pins you want to access. There are three zipper compartments in this Recollections pin case. So if you only want to access the middle part, this is zipped up and this is zipped up and you don't have to worry about it. And oh, this is what the side looks like and the back looks exactly the same. So you open this up and you have the elastic. I will say the elastic is much better at getting pins in and out than the Kipling. And we can test it a little bit. We won't test that side because that side really doesn't count. Um, so I have a paper mate flare that I will just take out. Oops. So red paper mate flare and I want to put this back in. You know, so it's a little bit loose, more loose than what it was, but look at this. It's still, let's take one out of the middle. Let's take one out of the middle. So, you know, it's in the middle. It's better to try when it's between two pins. So if I want to put this back, you know, it's still a tight fit. So let's try it with, if I want to add a paper mate flare to this recollections. And we do have one that's in the middle right here. So let's test it out. And, and look at this. I have to go like this. It's not, you know, an easy fit, but you know, there you go. So I do have pros and cons for both. Like both, like these, I mean, the elastic is still fit, but let's take this pin out. You know, let's take the one where that has, if it has the rubber on it, you're going to have a harder time getting it in. So let's take this Paper Mate Ink Joy, take it out, and then put it back in. And there you go. And like this is the Pilot Acroball with the rubber on it. And then I, you know, take it out and put it back in. And so any pen you have that has rubber on it for the grip is going to be a little hard. See, there you go. So I still think the elastic on the Kipling when you first get it is a lot more tight than the elastic on the Recollections. So on the Kipling, you get elastic right here and you get elastic right here and you get none in here. That's where I think the Recollections pay, um, pen case comes in and is a better option for you because you have elastic on each and every one. So there's nothing that's, you don't have pins rolling around. You're gonna have elastic everywhere. And so all your pins have their own slot. And I like this over that Kipling case just for that fact. And so you can organize your pins by however, this pin case does come with gel pins. And I just put them in here and took my Statlers out of here and put them in here because I like how these write better versus the gel pens and these are my most used pens in the front and right there so out of all the pen cases i do like the recollections the best it does give me the most pen storage as far as organization goes um i don't hate the kipling pen case i just basically use it as a catch-all pen if there's a pen that i'm trying out and I end up not liking it, I throw it in here like these friction pens. I just, I don't, I mean, they dry up on me or whatever. And I do have this one right here. And it's just gonna be like a catch off. I buy pens, I don't care for them. I can easily throw them in here. And the reason, I love the paper made flares, but the reason they're in here is because I don't have another space to put them, but I like that they're separated, so they are in there. But as far as pen cases go, I really, really do love the recollections. I think it's a great concept. I think it's executed well. I don't have a problem with the zippers. Like, let's zip it up. And this is how, you know, I have bulky pens in here. I don't just have Statlers. There are bulky pens. And so I want to show you how easy it is to zip up. Zip up, zips up just fine. So I like that. So I do think the recollections, you know, with the coupon, you can get this for 15 bucks and it's a really good deal. And so... You know, now that we've talked about, you know, pin cases and comparing them, I do want to talk about the pins that I have. So these are my most used pins. I don't have a certain type of pin that I like more than the other. 
Sometimes I want to use a fine tip. Sometimes I want to use a gel. Sometimes I want to just use a regular pen. And so these are just pens that I reach for. And we have some Paper Mate Ink Joys that I really, really love. And these are the um, Pilot Acro Balls that I love and Paper Mate. Um, these are Ink Joys as well. These are just in white. But I love these. And then we have Uniball um, Signas. We have Pentel Energels. And we have Sharpies. And then we have this Sharpie pen right here. I love these pens. Then we have some Statlers that I really love. I like using the colored ones for my personal goals planner. So that's why they're in here. But I love Statler in general. We have these um, Pentel RSVP. I like them, but they write a little too light. It's like a light black. <laughs> these are such a color. And so they are in here because I do like them. They just write a little light. Um, and then on the back here, we have Mambi pens, which are actually really nice, if you didn't know that. They are really nice pens. And then I have these Statlers, which are different sizes, 0 0.1, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. And they're just the different tip, the different um, sizes. So I like to, if I want a different size, I can pick which one. These are Pilot G2s, Paper Mate Ink Joy, but in red and blue. And these are Pilot Friction that Influencer sent me. So that is all the pens that I currently use. And I like that all the pens are in their own elastic. And I like that I can take this with me um, if I want. And I do want to zip it up because I didn't compare the sizes, the size to the Kipling. Um, this is the Kipling case, and I'll just zip it up for video reference. So this is the size right here. The Kipling is taller. And the Kiplink is wider. All right. I mean, you know, wider. But it is the depth of this is more than the Kiplink, obviously. Um, yeah, you do have the same type of backing. But with this, you do, if you want to do a slide of pin in there, you can. Um, but yeah, this is more compact. And to me, this is easier to carry around than this because nothing's going to get moved around. I really like it. I think it's very nice, um, this pen case. I wish there was more design so if people didn't like this color or the quote, they can get their own design. But I really do like this. I think, you know, it's a matter of personal preference. If you don't, if you don't mind the Kipling case and it's for you, if you like something like this because you don't carry a lot of pens, then this may be for you. But Overall, I think it's a matter of personal preference and whatever you like. So yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. I hope if you're on the fence about this pen case, that this gave you a little bit more clarity for it. Um, and then I hope, you know, comparing these two was informative for you. So yes, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.